Hi there, thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to be talking about the forest demon because it came back. It followed me home when I made that list video out in the dark. Uh, that's the entrance to my forest that I was standing in front of. I was talking about feeling chills and when I was making that video I definitely felt the, the demon's presence. Like it was, it was right around me when I was making that video. I could feel the energy, the electricity, the, the vibration, I could feel all that. It also followed me home. When, right after I made that video, I was in my room, and I saw something, like a black ball out of the corner of my eye. It was on my bed, and it just shot straight to my ceiling real quick. Like, it just went, like, this black ball out of the corner of my eye. So, like, right then, I knew, like, for a fact, I was like, yeah, yeah, this thing fucking followed me home. It didn't like that. It didn't like that I was sitting out right in front of the forest at night like that, especially talking about it and thinking about it. Um, yeah, and I could also feel its presence in my room, like... Like, I talk about the demons, like, forcing me out of my body. Like, it kind of felt like it was it was, it was, was planning on doing that or it was trying to do that, but it just couldn't. So, yeah, for, like, the next couple of days, I, I was feeling the demon's presence in my room. I knew it came back. I was kind of going to make a video saying that I felt the demon's presence and stuff. But uh, this this morning, it really fucking attacked me. Like, it, it really attacked me when I was trying to astral project. And basically, like, I was... Uh, well, I said I was going to ask to project last night and go see my wife in the afterlife if I could. Like, I want it to happen again, really. Like, I'd, I'd love it if that fucking happened again. But, uh, that didn't happen. I remember I'd, I fell asleep and I was dreaming about something. And then, uh, right as I got out of the dream, I, I was laying in my bed. Like, I just woke up. And right as I just woke up, <clears throat> I felt the presence of the demon. Like, I felt it in my room, like, the, the, the electricity, the vibration feeling. And I felt it, like, tugging on my soul, trying to, like, pull me out of my body. It was, like, shh, like, I felt it, like, really hard. Like, it was, like, really, like, it felt like it was, like, right next to me. Like, just straight trying to rip me out of my body. Like, it was, it was really strong this time. And, uh, I, fe I felt, like, my soul, like, trembling inside my body like that. And I felt like it was just gonna go, pfft, just, like, I was gonna pop right out of my fucking body. And basically, that's what happened. Like, I, like, I just... Like, I just, like, boom, like, right as I left my body, this fucking demon, like, it came down on me, it was, like, boom, it was, like, right on top of me, and it just kept going, boom, 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 with, like, both its fucking hands, like, it was, like, it was, like, hammer fisting me, like, right on my fucking face, like, on the top of my head, but I had, like, the covers over my head and stuff, it was fucking weird, I just felt, I just felt it was, like, boom, 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 it was, like, pounding down on me, like, really aggressively, like, trying to scare the shit out of me. It kind of felt like, like, I don't believe in possession, I don't have any experiences with it, but, like, if anything, like, I was thinking of... Like, if, I felt like that thing was trying to, like, just em to enter my body. Like, it literally was just, like, pff, like right on top of me. And then it was, like, pff, 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 just fucking, like, pounding on me. <laughs> I was, like, what the fuck? Like, it was it was really scary and shit. And I remember, like, after it, like, it, like scared the shit out of me and stuff. Like, I woke up right afterwards. And I was, I was like, fuck. And I was thinking to myself, is like, because cause this, is, this is what happens. When that happens, you, you either have a choice. You, you go to bed. And you risk that happening again and again. You don't really know the consequences of a demon messing with you. It could fuck up your soul in some way. You have absolutely no idea. So you, your choice is to either go to bed and deal with it. You know, either try to scare it off or love it off. Whatever you, you can think of. Or you, or you could just fucking stay up and not go to bed. You'd just be tired as shit like me. <laughs> you could just, just get like five hours of sleep. You know, it's, it's, it's alright. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it's... That's what I mean, like, that, that fucking forest demon, like, followed me home just from sitting outside the forest, like, just talking about it. And it's a spiritual demon, it's not some, like, physical demon. I was saying I didn't want to go into the forest because, uh, well, at least at night, because I don't want it to, like, mess with my soul spiritually. Like, I don't know what demons are doing me, doing to me every single time they force me out of my body or attack me or fuck with me like this. I really don't know. And, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 what I was saying is, like, uh, or what I was gonna say is, like, all those people who were interested in, like, Bigfoot, or Bigfoot, or ghosts, like, ghost hunters and shit like that, like, all those people need to step it up, bro, and fucking come down to Scotia, you know what I'm saying? Come down to Scotia, and, and walk in those woods and tell me you, you don't fucking feel some nasty presence, and you don't have some demon following you home to attack you when you astral project that night. Just, just fucking, if, you, if you're interested, just come down here, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where this shit is, and you can, you can see for yourself that there's a fucking demon in this forest, there's probably more than one, they're probably, like, me and my friend, we had, like, this, uh, like, theory that it was, like, a fucking Native American, like, 
like demon Indian soul or something like you know like fucking we we just stole all their land and the the, the, the Indians like pissed off or something and he like comes in my room and just fucks with me at night because it's like oh, I fucking hate these people who stole my land fucking 500 years ago you know like okay, I, don't know. I don't know if that's true or not we, we just kind of like like came up with that theory because you know like Indians were around this part of New York and shit but yeah that's that's it's basically a fact now, like, the, like forests have spirits in them, like, spirits that just, just linger in there on Earth, not in the afterlife, not in another dimension, just in the astral realm on Earth, and they, they stay in one fucking spot, like, he just, he just loves chilling in this forest, this is his forest, you know, and, like, I don't know, like, how much control does it have over the forest, like, like, the animals and stuff? Like, I don't know. I kind of want to talk about something else, but I don't want to get into it at this point. But yeah, just I just want to make this video because it was it was really crazy, and I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And I was gonna I wanted to make the video like right after it happened, like in my room with like the demon in my room, like after it happened. But then it was just it was just really dark in my room. I was like, fuck. I'll just wait until it's like bright outside to make the video. I want people to see my face to see that I'm not bullshit and I'm not lying. Like if, if you look at my, if you watch any of my videos and you look at my face, you're just like, oh, I see the, I see the lie in your face, Jesse. You're, you're just full of shit. You're full of shit. I'm telling you right now. And if, if, if you don't believe any of the stuff that I'm saying, you're just missing out. Everything that I'm saying is a fact. Like everything that I'm saying to you from these stories is something that I've seen and proven to myself. And, and that's just a fact. So, um, yeah, like just, just trust me and. If you have any doubts about what I'm saying, just don't have them anymore because they're, they're, it's just pointless. I'm telling you right now, like, there's some people in this world who you can trust and I'm one of those people you can trust. Like, I'm a real person. A genuine person. I'm not, I'm not just some fucking dude on the internet looking for attention. I'm not a liar. I'm not a scumbag. Like, I'm a real, genuine, 100% person and you can trust me. And there is a forest demon in my forest. And that is a fact. And you can come down here and check it out yourself and be like, I want to see the proof, Jesse. I want to see the proof, Jesse. Go ahead. Go ahead. Step it up, bro. Step it up. Come down here and fucking check out the demon for yourself, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, stay away from demons. Stay safe. And uh, have a good day.